Well, I think if all the positions, if uh, you want to be able to find who your best five are, uh, and then who's your next best guy. So um, let's say that you're in your two deep, your, your backup right tackle is your 10th best guy out of all the linemen, then you definitely don't want, if the right tackle goes down, you don't want to be playing your 10th best offensive lineman. So to do that, guys have to learn different spots. Uh, I think everybody does that. So. Yeah, I think it's, it's important for guys to be able to play multiple positions. Is one of the biggest challenges in camp identifying your cornerbacks? Corners? Corners, yes, sir. I would say every position, you know, just trying to figure out, um, you know, who's got the ability to execute, uh, who can sustain, who's got the right competitive toughness about them. Um, so I think that would be with any position. Coach, what have you liked so far about Daniel Batuna? Well, Daniel's a guy that, uh, he has size, he has speed, um, you know, he, he has got a pretty good understanding of what we're trying to get done. He seems to have some maturity about him, uh, so, and he has an effect on his teammates, so I think that's, that's probably the most important thing. Do you think if healthy, the linebacking group could be one of the strengths of the team? You know, our guys are healthy now, so uh, it's good to have all these guys out there. I think we have lots of competition, uh, which is going to make them all better. So we just got to continue to take it day by day, continue to improve, uh, and have a little more impact on everybody else around us. Jeremy, you talked about in the spring, you know, the coaches are the leader, leaders of the football team. But in, on the first couple of days, you've seen more and more players be more active as far as, you know, telling the younger guy to go back through and do it again, encouraging, that kind of thing. Is that good to see from the standpoint just a few months in? Well, I think if you're vested in what you're trying to get done, so as a player, a coach, or whoever, if, if you feel like you're paying the price and you're doing it the right way, um, you want everybody else associated with you to do the same, you know, because it takes everybody. So um, one of the most important things is really having the courage to confront people. So it's good that we got some guys that feel like that they're vested enough and they don't have no problem confronting their teammates. I think that's a positive. I saw Malik Gray running with wide receivers yesterday. Is that just experimenting, trying to find where he gets the best? Well, I think, again, we're trying to figure out who our best players are, um, get them in position to have success, try to create depth. Malik's a guy who has some size and has speed. And, you know, he's, he's been a defensive player, but we recruited Malik in high school, and he really didn't play defensive back in high school. He played offense, and he played outside linebacker. So, um, you know, we think he's a guy that can run a little bit, and we just want to see what he can do. Excuse did me. Like, <coughs> did you like the retention of the offensive players from spring to now? Yeah, I think our guys have, have done a, a pretty good job. I, I really think we had a good summer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think our, our on both sides of the ball, you know, our guys really worked hard to try to understand what we're trying to get done and tried to share what they knew with the guys that were coming in. So um, there's definitely, we're, we're a little further ahead, obviously, and we should be than when we were the second day of spring ball. Have you noticed a difference in the strength level, or do you have to wait till you get in pads to determine that? Well, you know, you can, you can see uh, strength in numbers, whether you're testing and all that, but you know, really, you're looking for football strength. Uh, guys uh, who add mass, which we have had some guys do that. Uh, you want it to help in injury prevention. Uh, so I think it, that'll be more telling as the season goes along. But Jeremy, as far as growth me, and, and numbers, yes. You, uh, the wide receiving core, you feel like these guys can be pretty good blockers, your, your receivers? Well. <laughs> to me, to be a good blocker, it starts with want to, you know. So um, if they got the want to, I think you can do whatever you want and you can kind of set your mind to. So we actually have some big men, which should be a plus out there on the perimeter. So, yeah, it needs to be a strength. Jeremy, obviously right now you're preoccupied with uh, evaluating talent and, and practice, but you're here in a setting like this and a day like this, which is recorded for posterity's sake. Do you ever let yourself stop and think, well, this is a special group because this is my first team as a college football head coach? Well, I think I've said this on more than one occasions. I, I really like the guys on our team. Uh, they're fun to be around. 
they're willing to do whatever we ask. Um, they're hungry. Um, they have <clears throat> they have not questioned anything that we've asked them to do. They've just done it, and as long as they continue to do that, we'll be okay. How's Dominic Wood Anderson adjusted so far, and what would be maybe the biggest transition for him coming from the JUCO level to this level? Well, Dom's a big man uh, who has some ability. You know, he obviously didn't participate in the spring, so he's had two practices. Um, you know, really, it's a different offense probably than what he played in in junior college. So just the retention, uh, learning how we're going to compete every day and all that. So. What have you seen so far from Paul Bain? We just got done talking with him. Is, is he, um, you know, what have you seen from him so far in fall camp in the spring? Well, you know, he plays defensive line, so it's hard to judge defensive linemen in two days in helmets. But the guy uh, is a walk-on who's fixing to graduate, uh, keeps a job, uh, tells you a lot about his character. Um, you know, he, he's, he's a really hard worker, and, and I think the guy is, is going to play for us this year. I know it's hard to assess this, but what have you seen out of your quarterback so far? It's been a lot of good and a lot of bad, you know. Uh, and I think they wouldn't be here if they didn't have ability. we got to get them to be consistent, understand what we're trying to get done, uh, make the guys around them better. Uh, so it's two practices in. It's really hard to tell. What's the good you've seen? Well, they all have arm talent. Mm -hmm. uh, they all have some leadership qualities. Uh, they can extend plays. So. What's the bad you've seen? Well, inconsistency, you know. Uh, just, Is that with accuracy? Typically? Well, you know, there's lots of things, whether it's, um, you know, changing the protection or changing runs in a run game or, you know, throwing the ball to the wrong spot, being late with the ball, just speeding everything up.